Chemical engineering is a very broad degree and it consists of many 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 different technical subdisciplines. There is no one sub big subject called chemical engineering, but during your degree you will study a variety of many different technical subjects which will focus on a different area of engineering. So in this video we have decided to have a look at the technical courses of chemical engineering which you can be expected to study during your degree. So do remember to watch the video till the very end and if you do like it then remember to like, share and subscribe to Chemical Life for more videos. Thank you. Process engineering is the core of chemical engineering. And hence you will see that many of the technical subjects are related to production and or industrial processes. The biggest and the most important technical subject within engineering is process design. Process design is defined as the choice and sequencing of unit operations for desired physical and or chemical transformation of raw materials. For example, at a very small scale in your everyday life, you wake up every morning and you make coffee from coffee beans, right? Your beans are the raw materials and you put them in a machine and some things happen within that machine and you get your end product which is coffee. Now imagine something similar but in a larger, much larger scale. Let's have a look at an industrial example. If you would like to produce biodiesel from something as, as base cooking oil, how would you do that? Then you would need some very specific unit operations and processes set up in a correct sequence which will help you transform the waste cooking oil into the final product which is biodiesel and that is exactly what you will learn in this course and as you may have realized now it covers a wide area of topics and chapters which touches upon many different sub engineering topics such as process selection chemical reactions chemical kinetics equipment sizing economics heat optimization and many many more other areas you may also be expected to run simulation programs to run the process that you have designed. It is a very important course for chemical engineers because chemical engineering is basically process engineering. Therefore, this is the core subject which will bring everything together. Everything that you see studying in the other technical subjects, it will all come together and you will see how chemical engineering can actually be applied in a real life situation. Hands down, it tends to be one of the most favorite subjects and specialization area for students because it is like a puzzle. And many times for your projects, the only piece of information that is given to you is the raw material and the final product. And everything in between and everything how to, how to design the process is something that you need to figure out on your own. So if you like solving puzzles and you like working with data, then this will be your favorite course. Another technical subject is process control, which teaches you about maintaining key process parameters in manufacturing processes at their desired set points. For example, let's say that you're sitting in your room and you feel like you're getting hot. Then what do you do? You stand up and you turn on the air conditioner or you decrease your radiator. You identify the problem and you solve it by taking an action. Something similar can happen in a process plant because let's say that you have a temperature sensitive reaction and therefore you want the temperature of a reactor to remain at 50 degrees Celsius. Through process control, you will be able to identify the parameters and the set points and to be able to program different control systems to identify if those set points are met or not. And if there is a deviation, then you can program the system to either correct it automatically given the solution you have or raise an alarm for manual modification. So for example, taking on the example that we saw earlier, if you have a temperature sensitive reaction and if you realize that the temperature is at 60 degrees Celsius, then you can program the system to either decrease the temperature or raise an alarm for the operators to go in and have a look. It is a very important subject because if you're not well versed with the basics of process control, you will not be able to design robust and error-free process design. You may have to remember that designing a process can be very simple, but it is process control which brings life to it. You will learn a bit of both theory and programming and normally Simulink in MATLAB is taught for the simulations. Another 
technical subject is separation process. Separation processes is the subject where you will learn about different processes of separating two or more substances in order to obtain purity. Let's say you have a mixture of acetone and water and you want a pure solution of acetone. How do you do it in an industrial scale using industrial equipment? That's exactly what you will learn in this course. In the right terms, it is a very technical subject where you will learn about phase diagrams, distillation and the actual separation processes. At the same time, you will be taught about the equipment which is used to perform these tasks and how you can model them, size them and design them. It can be a very difficult subject and you will be required to have a very good command on thermodynamics and mathematics. But the best part is, it is the subject where you will always hear people talk about stripping. And no, it does not mean what you think it means. Rather, in chemical engineering, stripping is a separation process where components are removed from a liquid stream using a vapor stream. And who says engineers do not have a sense of humor? Another technical subject is risk assessment. And you may have guessed it correctly. It is the subject for you to understand and identify risks associated with industrial processes and materials. As a chemical engineer, you will find yourself working within industrial production in one way or another. And not surprisingly, there are many risks that are associated with these industrial plants. For example, the ammonia in your storage tanks can leak into the air, your reactors can catch on fire, your pipes can freeze up or blow up, Many things can very easily go wrong and therefore chemical engineers need to make sure that those risks are minimized as far as possible. You will learn to identify the accidents that can happen, how they can happen and how you can avoid them from happening and if they do happen then what do you need to do to be able to contain the damage to the surroundings. It is a very very important subject for you to learn because risk engineers are the people that may end up saving thousands of lives in a time of accident and crisis. So, it may be a very good idea for you to pay extra attention when you are taking this class. Another technical subject, or rather I would say a technical skill that you will come across is your ability to use simulation softwares. As said earlier, the core of chemical engineering subjects is focused upon plant production of a large scale. But of course, every university or company cannot build a dummy industrial plant where you can go and test your theories. Therefore, process simulations are central in all of your courses. Process simulation softwares may include Aspen, MATLAB, Pro2, GAMS and many other depending on the university and depending on the subject. Many universities may offer standalone courses in these softwares, whereas many times you will find that these softwares are taught as part of a bigger technical course. For example, as part of your process design course, you may be asked to simulate your process within Pro2. Or you will be asked in your process control class to, uh, to, dis to model your control system using Simulink in MATLAB. It is a very important skill to have because knowing simulation softwares can not only help you solve many engineering problems, but it also opens up many opportunities for you later in your career. And that was all for this video and thank you so very much for watching and if we left out a subject then do remember to tell us in the comments below so that we can add it in our next parts. And if you're not done so already then do remember to become a free member today at www.chemiclife.com and join the growing engineering community. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe to Chemical Life channel for more videos on chemical engineering. Thank you and have a great day.